The Samoans are back. The production factory has produced yet another one. This is Jack, son of Hiti, the dad, here as the team manager for the Samoan contingent. Lifters will have to add on at least another kilo. And on the right of your screen there, the lifts that are proposed as openers by each of today's athletes. These openers were noted at the weigh-in just two hours ago. Athletes and coaches agree what weight they plan to start on. It doesn't mean they have to come out on these numbers. They have two opportunities to make a change. They could go up, they could go down. There's a rising bar. The lifters will choose when they come in. He is the reigning Oceanic title holder, and this is 155 to open up. Extension, speed, power, every attribute you want for weightlifting. Now, Don Opologi. Now, one thing that's uh, really important, he is the lightest of the class. Now, body weights don't count for a lot, but it's really important to understand he weighed in at just over 102 kilos. He posted the biggest starting weight. It seems that one or two of the other lifters are playing games and they've upped theirs at the last minute, so he finds himself in the mix. He's not having this all of his own way, still has to work hard. Brilliant lifting. It really has come alive, and now we come to the last lift in the first half of the competition, and this is Jack Opologi for Samoa. And the bar at 164 kilos for the 21-year-old. And there's the Samoan choir, all ready to rejoice. Providing, of course, he lifts this. Lightest man of the class. It's there. It is there, isn't it? Drives up and... Apologi and Samoa at the halfway stage are by a kilo in the lead. That was a pressurised lift. Nothing was given. He had to work. The timing, the precision, perfect. That bar barely a centimetre, even just a few millimetres higher than where he ended up receiving it. It just shows you don't need the bar to come high. Well, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, Samoan Rugby 7 PG, uh, Rugby 7 team uh, also in the audience for uh, Fiji as well. Well, Don Opologi got the gold medal. Jack, so far so good. Outstanding lifting, very much looking forward to what lies ahead. So that is the halfway stage in this competition. Next, after they've taken a few minutes to recover, we'll be seeing the clean and jerk, the second of the two disciplines. The clean is where the bar goes from the floor to the shoulders, and the jerk is shoulders to overhead. This discipline, we expect to see slightly heavier weights lifted. And these lifters now need to recompose, refuel, and start their warm-ups once again. They will drop right back down to an empty bar because they would have had probably 15, 20 minutes just sitting and doing nothing. So this is the state of play. Jack Opologi leading by just a kilo. And here the proposed opening weights for the clean and jerk. And you can see there, sadly, no further part will be taken by Junior Tassi for New Zealand, who missed out and 
failed on his three attempts. Yeah, it's never nice to find yourself in a position where you fail to make a total, but it's all about a learning experience as well. Whilst you want to bring your A-game to a big stage like this, sometimes you learn more from failure than you do from success. Absolutely, but I fear that being in third place with a couple of men yet to really start and show what they can do, that Andy in third place is very vulnerable in terms of medals. At the moment, it's India in gold, Canada in silver, England in bronze, but here comes Jack Opalogi. He said he was going to start at 195, he's dropped a kilo. there the questions are going to be answered big arm pull that takes the momentum and makes it really hard to use the legs for the second phase but he's strong to stand the jerk well I think that was without question good dip hips behind the bar a little bit I, I this is not all plain sailing for him there are other lifters still in contention and it's going to be a battle until the end which makes this really really exciting yeah, the Opologis, they're sort of Samoan royalty, really, aren't they? Still, Jackson Roberts Young of Australia with one attempt. Well, I'm slightly worried, but well, in fact... He's got two attempts, Two attempts, he? yeah. But he's taking a big jump. Well, it'll be a huge jump. But it's Jack Opologi who's going to come out for his second attempt on 200 kilos. Well, he lifted this weight at 96 kilos when he was lifting in that weight class. Body weight rise, he's six kilos heavier. Manages to keep some momentum on the bar to be able to stand. This was a brilliant recovery on the jerk, considering how hard the clean was. Hips a long way back. Does well to recover. He's got one attempt remaining. Coaches were saying they've been feeding him five meals a day. Unfortunately for him, there is a 102 kilo category, but not in the Commonwealth Games. A little frustrating, isn't it? That the, they feel the need to remove some of our categories at Commonwealth and Olympics. It's just, uh, it just makes it very difficult. Some lifters then have to mess around with their body weight. Okay, so one second. The jury have actually asked to take a look at the previous lift, and they're reviewing it. I didn't see anything wrong. Let's take another look here. We've got an opportunity to see from the front, and this is what the referees will be looking at. I didn't see any, or the, the jury, I didn't see any infringement here on the clean. Look at the elbows. Oof. It's their movement. That is what they're asking. The decision has been made. It will be coming through in just a second. Bear with us. So interesting, that previous lift that we've just seen from Jack Opologi has been overturned. Press out, they're saying. Well, that hasn't been greeted particularly well by the Samoan supporters here. Well, that's a 
a difficult one. It wasn't, a, it wasn't hugely obvious. We've seen the replay. There was some movement. Again, we get an opportunity to see the elbows. I think if we're going on consistency, other lifts have been failed for less movement. So it's a tough call. Jury have stepped in. The decision stands. Yeah, I do think that's a tough call, but... Yeah, it's, it's a rule that has been in question. I'm all for the press-out rule. I'm going to ask the question then, is it a press-out or is it shaking under the load? The bar to 201 kilos for Junior Gadger of the Cameroon. Five kilo increase. He's on 356. Of course, this would take him to 361 and put this man into the lead. The previous lift would suggest that this is no easy number. to answer does he go for the same weight does he go up and try and get back into gold medal position He's still got Australia in the mix let's have a look here big drive this jerk is so convincing and he's a tall guy long way for that bar to travel okay, does so well well effectively it's a seven kilo increase one ninety four to two hundred one kilos. Well, there's plenty of Samoan support, but I agree with you, this is absolutely new territory for this twenty one year old. This is gonna take a monumental effort. Unfortunately, not for him. He stays very much in the medals, but unfortunately for him, on this occasion, it won't be the gold. Cameron's lead from Samoa, India in bronze. 